Well, joining me now from LA is Nancy Wong Yun, author of Real Inequality, Hollywood Actors and Racism, a book that examines the barriers that actors of colour face in Hollywood. A warm welcome to you. Thanks very much for being with us here on BBC World News. So is this a watershed moment, do you think? I think that given that Hollywood has been uh, had a history of whitewashing, it is uh, something that the community here in the United States has been very fearful about. What if they cast a white, you know, woman as as Mulan? So it, it was a it was a sigh of relief for a lot of people. Now there was a huge campaign to make sure that that didn't happen, wasn't there? A hundred thousand people signed a petition urging Disney to cast an Asian actress. Do you think that was uh, instrumental in this decision? I like to think that uh, that Disney is listening. I think the the fear actually was that they were going to center maybe a, a European white man. Uh, there was uh, some rumors that that Mulan was actually going to be auxiliary. So so that fear has been alleviated by this casting. Now, whitewashing has been an issue for Hollywood for decades, hasn't it? I mean, going back to the 1960s, uh, Mickey Rooney played Mr. Yinayoshi in Breakfast at Tiffany's, and it's carried on over the years, hasn't it? Just a couple of years ago, Christian Bale played a biblical character in the 2014 film Exodus, Gods and Kings, and Ridley Scott was asked about that. They said, well, why didn't you cast someone Middle Eastern? He said, because they never, the film would never have been bankrolled if they didn't have a big name behind it. And that's really a defence that Hollywood uses, isn't it? That actually um, actors, actresses from different backgrounds, different colours, different ethnicities, they, they don't bring in the big bucks. Yes, and I think that that's, um, it's a misconception, right? I think that, and, and the problem is a, it's a cyclical thing where you're not giving chances to actors of colour and then so they're not building up their resume, so then they're not getting the big names out there. And I think that, that it's false because in the United States we see that for example, African-American actors in small films are, are doing really, really well. And so I, I don't think that that's true. Uh, earlier this year, British actor Ed Screen um, went public and said he turned down a role in the Hellboy reboot because the um, character actually was supposed to be of Asian heritage. And he said, well, you know, that's not me. I'm turning it down. He was applauded at the time. But then questions have been asked whether perhaps by being outspoken, he may have damaged his career. Do you think that that is a risk for actors, people in Hollywood to, to speak out against this? Well, I think that the example with Daniel Day Kim, he actually spoke out against, uh, there was a TV show called Hawaii Five-0 and the, the, there was some pay discrimination. He spoke up and he actually stepped down from the role and now he's been cast in that role that Ed Skrine, um, you know, uh, stepped down from. So the, the fear that speaking up is going to damage your career, I think that that's no longer the case because people care about justice. Do you think that actually what will be interesting to note is that now that they've cast the lead role in Mulan as a Chinese woman, what will happen to the rest of the cast? Where will they be from? What backgrounds? Well, here in the United States, we're hoping that there will be some Asian Americans uh, cast in the in the in, to flesh out the rest of the cast, since it is a film that is you know put out by Hollywood. And the original cartoon had starred uh, Ming Na Wen, who is a Chinese American actress, um, as the voice of the lead. Do you think that we have reached a turning point? Another example that we've got is Guy Ritchie. He has cast a Dutch Tunisian actor in his forthcoming film, Aladdin, but he had thought of casting it, we think, a British white actor previous to that. So do you think, feel now that there really has been a shift, that people making movies understand that that's what audiences want? They want um, some reality in their films. I think there's awareness and some fear of backlash, but I know that there's still um, whitewashing on, for example, Niihau, which is a 2018 film about a native Hawaiian that's based on true events, has asked a white actor, and that's coming out 2018. So um, we'll, we're, we're waiting to see. There's definitely a lot of uh, unity and audience on whitewashing. Really good to talk to you, Nancy Wong-Yung. Thanks very much for joining us from LA. Thank you.